Hi folks, this is Matt Carey, Superintendent of Schools, coming to you from the Mercer County SIPAC campus. Uh, I am here today with uh, Mick Orff, our Director of Pupil Services, and he and I are going to talk a little bit about what's been going on here uh, over the course of the summer. Uh, but before we get started, just a couple of exciting things to share with you about our schools. Uh, first and foremost, we've been uh, working all summer on multiple facilities projects to beautify our schools. We have painting going on, cleaning all the floors, uh, redoing some of our classrooms, updating our technology. Uh, really excited about our new gaming program at the uh, Assenpink campus, as well as our gaming room here at the SIPAC campus. Uh, and on top of that, uh, just some really neat things that we've done as administrators, because we are here all year long. Uh, we just recently wrapped up our administrative retreat, uh, where we worked on day one in our operations and facilities and technology. Uh, it was a great day of learning for the whole administrative team. Then we took a day off and we went to the Career Tech Institute, where we got to present our esports team and talk about our branding and our new branding. Obviously, we've talked about the Wizards, but I am now branding hashtag Wizard Nation. So I will be in all my social media posts tagging hashtag Wizard Nation. Please join me in doing so. And we got to talk about uh, it was uh, our program. It was so exciting. We all wore our gaming shirts and we really were the talk of the event. Then we came back for our curriculum instruction. Um, that is something that's really important, and I'd like to give a shout out to our assistant superintendent of curriculum instruction, Dr. Charles Powell, and his team. They did an amazing job over the course of the year to update uh, a lot of outdated curriculum to get us up to where we need to be for our standards. And we're really excited about all the new curricular things that are going to be rolling out this year for our students to make them the best that they can be. So with that, I'm getting ready to talk to my good friend, Mick Orff. Uh, who I like to call the face man or the positive tornado. We have lots of nicknames for each other, uh, but welcome to the show. I know it's a crossover. Uh, the folks out there usually see you on the MCTS experience. Uh, thanks for being on the superintendent's view. Thanks so much for having me, Mr. Carey. It's uh, or, or Hannibal as, yeah. uh, as my nickname for you is, well, you know, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm, I'm still, this is my same seat when I host the MCTS experience with, uh, with my partner in crime, David Nash. Um, but uh, now I get to be a guest Absolutely. and uh, 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 field questions for you. Thanks for having me. Great. Uh, thanks for being here. So one of the big exciting things that, um, you know, it's something we've done as a district in the past, but it kind of went to the wayside, you know, whether it was because of COVID or changes that were going on. Uh, but, but you were the one who kind of brought it to my attention about our uh, summer camp. And we decided that we were going to bring it back this year. Let's let's bring back our summer camp. And we really had no idea what we were looking at and it exploded and we've had so many students in. So tell us a little bit about how this came about and uh, the different programs that we're running. Yes, absolutely. I also have to credit uh, uh, Debbie Donnelly. We were in an administrative meeting uh, and, and she mentioned it, uh, like whatever happened to these. And then we were like, yes, let's do it. I am so glad we did because one, one, the biggest thing of it is we're bringing career technical education to students at a much younger age. We're getting it on their radar when they're in sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Um, so they so they were aware that it's it's a lot more than just fireman, doctor, lawyer and, uh, you know. Uh, Instagram star right. as possible careers. Um, so, so these students are getting a taste of, uh, we had a, a graphic arts, we called it graphic arts and crafts, um, police and detective camp uh, run by our criminalistics teachers, um, culinary arts camp, uh, which is obviously a very popular program. All of these programs actually are quite, quite popular in our uh, uh, high school programs. Um, environmental camp uh, taught by our horticulture and turf care management teacher at Birdsall um, and car camp. Uh, Dylan McKinney, our auto collision teacher, uh, has got the students working on uh, model cars and uh, they actually learn some basic auto repair like oil change, how to change a tire, um, all practical life skills. Uh, even if they don't go into that career right. uh, or or even if they don't end up coming here are going to are going to have that skill to take with them forever. Absolutely. And that's really important that, you know, giving the students that life skill, giving them that exposure, because even if they don't choose and who knows, maybe their interests may change during middle school and they'll come to us for uh, something different. Yes. Um, so how many students participated in the camp or are participating because it's still going on? Excuse me. I also, I also left out a coding and robotics camp. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, taught by our STEM teacher and uh, a physical games and skills uh, camp taught by uh, John Baldino, our, our PE teacher. And um, 
Uh, so we had a total of uh, over both sessions. We're in our second right. session now, 150 students. Wow. And uh, oh, the best thing about this is, yes, obviously this is we're getting career technical education, but it is, I, I must confess, you know, I uh, I work with our admissions department. Absolutely. Um, it's a recruitment tool. Oh, sure. Uh, these these students come here. They have a great time. Uh, they're doing hands on stuff. They're not sitting on their butts. You know, it's it's they're up and doing things. Absolutely. And they remember this place yeah. uh, and, and they learn at a very early age that magic does happen here. It does. And it's interesting. And that's such a great point because. You know, you hear our students talk about how magic our school district is, but they they don't realize that until they're here. You know, we do the recruitment, we do the admissions process, and they think that this is the program for them, but they're not sure yet. By doing this, this can make them totally sure because, you know, getting the word out about how unbelievably awesome our district is and the programs that we offer at both the Aston Pink and SIPAC campus and doing it with a hands-on way is so much better than, even though you're recruiting is so great, you know, giving them that exposure, you know, gives them that extra edge in the uh, application process. I, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. It's just one more, one more tool in our toolkit Absolutely. for, for uh, getting us. From, I have a, a present for you, Mr. Carey. Oh, wow, I love presents. Thank you. Thank you very much. So every one of the students, every one of the campers, when they complete the program, gets a certificate of completion. Right. Um, as well as... Wow, look at that. And the, these were made, right? These were made, uh, these were designed by our very own Nick MacGyver Sikowski. Wow. And I'd like to present that. I'd like to present that to you, Mr. Carey. Um, please uh, up for the fans. wear it in good health. Wow, that's perfect. That'll go right along with the Wizard Nation. Love it. <laughs> love it. Thank you so much. I my pleasure. It. My pleasure. Um, our website is on there, of course, and and we're going to be taking, we took some pictures last week and put them up on our socials. Great. Um, and we're going to do that again. Uh, Nick and I will be going around today. So please check our social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and LinkedIn uh, and see more photos of, of the students having a great time. So to wrap it up, you, you mentioned uh, Debbie Donnelly. Uh, you know, she's our business administrator for the district and she's behind the Scene. She does. She's not out there in front the kind of the way that we are, but she plays such a critical role. Agree. In everything that we do here at the district. Um, talk a little bit about how we financed this camp and 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 the price that we were oh, able to give to parents. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for mentioning that. So so these camps, um, I, I I know because I'm a, I'm a parent myself. I have two boys that are now uh, 19 and 22. Uh, when they were going to camp, it's it's like paying for a private school. Sometimes right. you have to, you're, you're coming up with three, four, five hundred dollars for a week or two. Um, these camps are very affordable, which is something we're very proud of. Um, they only cost a hundred dollars for a two week session. Absolutely. So um, fifty dollars a week. Yes. Yeah. Fifty dollars a week. That's right. Um, so, so that makes it more accessible to a lot more students and a lot more people. Absolutely. Um, and it's still, it's still a great time. Uh, but with the amount of, uh, uh, students that we had involved, we also, we did very, very well as, as we've talked about too, with that recruitment tool, it all, it all pays for itself. Absolutely. It, it absolutely does. But I just want, you know, it's a, it's a promotion for next year's summer program, you know, for parents that maybe didn't see something, you know, and then now we're going to see this video. Um, and then we're going to, you know, we're looking to keep the price the same for next uh, summer because it's really, it's not about us making money. We're really even breaking, breaking even, or maybe even losing a little bit. But in my mind, we're not losing anything because as you said, we are looking at the next generation of wizards coming into the Mercer County Technical Schools. Absolutely. Next generation of wizards. Great. I like that. More, more people joining hashtag wizard nation. Love it. Love it. All right, so from here, we're going to go out and about. Let's go uh, take a look at some of our programs, talk to a few students, maybe some teachers, and see what our summer programs are all about. I love it. Let's get out there. All right, sounds great. Hey, Wizard Nation, I'm outside now with our Environmental Sciences Camp. I'm here with Mr. Birdsaw, our instructor for the program. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Glad to be here. That's awesome. Uh, you know, I, I'm actually, you've gotten really excited about the environmental sciences since becoming superintendent here. My tomatoes are amazing this year. Uh, where do you see them? Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you're doing with the students this uh, summer? Well, some of the things we're doing is we're trying to teach the students really what I want to emphasize is trying to become good stewards of the land. Absolutely. You know, uh, really trying to let them understand how important that uh, water, soil, mm -hmm. and uh, and the forest we find in the 
pine barrens and how important it is to keep in the pine barrens, pine barrens. So just uh, trying to get kids to learn how to be good stewards. Absolutely. And we have such beautiful land here at the SIPAC campus. Um, you're able to go exploring and uh, we just shot some video of you uh, teaching your kids about leaves of three, let them be. Um, so I, you were out in the woods. What were you doing out there? Yeah, a little poison ivy and just making sure they stay safe. But yes. what we're going to be doing um, something that biologists do. We're actually going to go to the stream on campus and we're going to test it for uh, for health to see if it's polluted or if it's clean water. Absolutely. And we're going to actually catch bugs. We're going to catch macro invertebrates and see what we can do and see how healthy that stream is. How fun is that? Uh, what a way to spend the summer, you know, out in the woods, going in streams. How many campuses have actual streams running through them? I mean, how lucky are we here at SIPAC to be able to have this type of an environment around us? No, we have our own outdoor classroom here. And yeah. we're, we're actually really lucky to have that. I think we have about 15 acres of open space and then another 10 acres of wood. So anything that we need to teach the kids on environment, it's, it's here for us. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate all the work that you do and that you being here in the summer for the next generation of our students. Uh, so thanks for being on the show. No problem. If we can make good stewards, we're doing our job. Absolutely. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Hey, Wizard Nation. Matt Carey here coming to you from the coding and robotics camp. I'm here with Parth and Patrick, two of our campers with all their buddies there behind them. And you can see their robot right here. We got robot uh, contest going on over here. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah, so what made you decide that you wanted to come to Mercer County Technical Schools? Uh, the reason I chose this camp is because I not only really enjoyed robotics and coding, but I know this is a really good um, high school for all these STEM Oh, great. Academics. Oh, so you understand about our programs already too. Awesome. What about uh, you, Patrick? I chose this um, camp because I find it fun. And I want to learn more about coding and robotics. Absolutely. And are you interested in following this when you get to high school? Yeah. Okay. And what grade are both of you in? We're in sixth grade. We're sixth, going to seventh. Going into seventh? Yeah. Both of you? Yep. Excellent. So you got two more years of middle school. Yeah. And then we'll be seeing you, I guess, in the tw 2028, right? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks for being on the show. I appreciate it. Just before we close, what's the name of your team? And tell us a little bit about your robot. So the team name that we chose is ITSP. ITSP. I like that. For informational technology technology that represents this camp as it's a robotics and coding camp and then the s and p stands for soccer because we both really enjoy playing soccer oh cool and then the p is because both our names start with a p yeah double p that's what i called you when i asked you to uh, be on the show here and uh, how's your robot doing in the competition so it's been it's been doing pretty good just uh -huh. that, like every other every other person's robot it's having similar issues like with the wheels sure we can deal with everything like that all right great and that's part of it right seeing what's wrong with it fixing it yeah. and having it right for the next time definitely yeah great well i'm really glad that y'all came here and all of you as well uh for our summer programs and thanks for being on the show today thank you all right take care hey wizard nation matt carrie here i'm at the culinary arts camp super exciting day here it's taco day and i'm here with one of our students ian welcome to the show hi yeah so ian tell us a little bit about yourself great what grade you're in what town you're from i'm going to seventh grade and i'm from hopo awesome so what made you decide you wanted to come to culinary camp well, my cousin was going, and I've always liked cooking, and I'm in a cooking household where we usually cook our dinners. Oh, great. And I thought it would be fun and a good experience. Oh, so there's like a family thing that you do each night, mm -hmm. huh? So you're taking home some of the skills you learn here to your family? Yeah. Great. Now, are you interested in culinary arts as a career, or was this just something you wanted to do in the summer to just see? Just something I want to do in the summer to yeah, see. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, so today's taco day. I got to ask you the big question. What? Chicken or beef? Beef. Beef, yeah. See, I'm, as you can tell, <laughs> I like both. <laughs> All right, so uh, give me uh, your number one highlight from the summer so far. I know it's just kind of um, getting going here. In the class? Yeah, what's your favorite thing you've done so far? Hmm. Um, I think the first day when we got to make pancakes, pancakes. I was doubting the class. I didn't think it was going to be fun. But in the first day when we started to make pancakes, I realized this was going to be a lot of fun. You're making pancakes. What's better than that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. And I had your cookies uh, yesterday. They were really good, too. Yeah. So, all right. Well, thanks for being on the show. And it was really nice meeting you. OK, thank you. All right. Thanks, Eve. All right. Wizard Nation, we're wrapping up our tour of our summer camp. Uh, how awesome was that, Mr. Orff? Really nice. Really nice to see you uh, interacting with the kids. And the kids really seem to be having a great time. Oh, they did. And they were so ready to be on camera and talk about the programs. We saw so many smiles. Um, we didn't see any kids that were disengaged. That didn't seem like they were having fun. I didn't see uh, that. We were inside, outside, all over the place. Uh, yes. You know, what a great morning it was. Back in the day, uh, students used to be a little bit shy. Yes. These kids were clamoring. They're like, hey, hey, interview me. Yeah, interview me. Shoot me. I want to see it. <laughs> um, so we saw a lot of great things. Um, so that's a, a wrap on our first episode from the 23-24 school year of the superintendent's view. 
We are looking forward to another amazing school year at Mercer County Technical Schools. Go Wizards! Wizard Nation. Remember that. Hashtag Wizard Nation. Wizard Nation.